Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you are here. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I have put together to prepare for myself for having my kids home for the summer. So a little bit of a backstory is that I have been a stay-at-home mom for about almost seven years now. My son just turned six and I became a stay-at-home mom whenever I found out I was pregnant with him. And so I've been so lucky and blessed to do that. And so I've kind of learned some, some things throughout those years of being at home with him. Um, I now have an 18 month old daughter as well. And so he's gonna be home with me um, now that the school year is coming to an end. Along with that, I'm also going to be taking on three extra kids. So a friend of mine is needing an at-home babysitter. And so when January came of 2024, I have taken on her three children. So um, truthfully, I've only really had two of them at home with me because their third is in elementary school as well. So unless she was on some sort of school break or didn't have school or whatever, it's mostly just been the other two. So I've had technically three at home with me every single day, Monday through Friday, since January. And it's been super awesome. Um, but I've also learned a lot of things throughout that experience as well. So with all that being said, I'm trying to prepare myself because I'm going to have a total of five children floating around my house this summer. And so instead of them trying to be racking their minds going crazy in our home or driving me crazy because they're just getting into everything under the sun in my house. I've decided to kind of put some ideas together as far as things that I can do with them during the summer to kind of more so have some guided play. So I only plan on going to Dollar Tree for these things. That's my plan. If there's certain things that I can't find at Dollar Tree, then I will go to somewhere like Walmart or something like that to kind of make sure I get what I'm looking for. Um, as far as that goes as well, um, things that I'm looking for is things that I can make use of other things that we have. So a little bit of a backstory. My neighbor has given me a huge container of like Play-Doh toys. So things to make like play food and things to like cut like cut play-doh and press play-doh like do all these fun things so i need to get some fresh play-doh that's something in my mind i also have miscellaneous things like magnetic wands that i bought for my son a couple years back um i have kinetic sand that's another one that i have um, i just have a couple of things like that so I'm trying to look for things that can go along with those things. And then I'm also looking for things um, more than that. So, like I said, my plan is to go to Dollar Tree. And when I say I'm going to Dollar Tree, I'm only looking to spend $1.25 per item. I'm not looking to get any of the $5 items or $3 or whatever they have <laughs> various prices there now. Um, I'm solely looking for just their dollar store, $1.25 things. So that's what's coming to mind. Um, a little bit of backstory on the kids that I'm looking for. I have ages from, okay. So the kids that I watch now are all having birthdays during the summer. So they're all about to turn, I said they're all about to turn. They're all about to go up in age. So where I'm going to have an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and then I have my six-year-old and my 18-month-old child. So total of five, various ages. So, um, like I said, I've created a little bit of a game plan. I think I'm only going to get some of the things now so that I don't overwhelm myself with a bunch of stuff because I have a huge long list of ideas, um, but I only want to execute a couple of them because if we get going on a million and a half different things, it's just going to be chaos. And I kind of want to take the um, idea of switching out toys if you know what I'm talking about so you have like some toys out and then when your kids get bored of those toys you can kind of switch out the toys that you've set aside and you know that sort of thing I'm kind of doing the same thing with the guided play so I'm going to only get like a couple of things and make use of the things that I have floating around my house and then I have some other ideas of things that we can do um maybe once we start getting a little bit bored or we start running out of the stuff that I plan on getting that whole ordeal so that's the idea. Um, I will mention one of the things that I'm planning on using that I'm not buying is I have a rolling cart. I have a couple of rolling carts that I bought 
in preparation for my daughter's arrival to kind of help myself organize her things around our house and we're no longer using those things like that so now I have a rolling cart free that I am able to kind of make use however I need and I feel like this would be like the perfect thing to use it for so I have one of those and then I have some uh, like I said, some things around my house that I plan on making use with, um, which I will let you know all of those things as it comes. Um, but then I also have like a couple of buckets um, that I might end up using. We'll have to just see how it goes. But let's get on in. Um, I'm going to run to the store and then whenever I get back, I will show you everything. Here we go. Okay, so I got it all organized and put together. So I figured I would just kind of go through and show you all everything I've got going on because there's kind of a lot. The only thing that I had actually purchased yesterday that didn't come from Dollar Tree are these bins. So it came as a pack of four. So there's two on the rolling cart and then two here. Um, so those came from Costco for like $7 as a four pack and they're really nice quality. So if you're a member of Costco's, highly recommend those. I actually kind of got those as like, an investment as well there's my dog <laughs> um because when we're no longer using them for the summer or whatever they're really good storage for later on anyways so all that to say the rolling cart I did already have we bought that for preparation for my daughter's arrival she no longer we no longer are using it that way so I figured this would be really good to kind of have a lot of it sitting on there and then um, I will kind of show you where the rest of these kinds of things go so let's just go ahead and get going. Right here on top, I have just some things to kind of keep them busy whenever we're just having kind of a moment where we're just kind of all bored and we don't feel like doing like a full blown activity. Um, I have these, they're kind of cool. They have um, like mystery things inside. I don't really know exactly what it is, but I have a couple of them. This one's a pirate doubloon. This one is a prehistoric shark tooth. Um, a planet, prehistoric dinosaur skull, and magic crystal. So as I had mentioned, I do have five kids that are going to be here, including my 18-month-old daughter. So um, like that kind of stuff is too much for her. But um, you know, she she's she's not going to be able to do stuff like this, but she'll be able to participate in a lot of the other things. Um, but I wanted to make sure I got enough for everyone. Um, just to have my bottom covered, if you know what I'm saying. So then I also saw these, which I thought was kind of another good, um, another good thing to kind of just have a little bit of an activity without like getting like a bunch of stuff out. So I just got, they're like window clings that they can paint. These are um, a dinosaur train by um, PBS Kids. It plays off on PBS Kids, I should say. So I have two different versions of that. And then I got the Hey Arthur ones. So there's him in his treehouse and then him in DW. Um, and those are both obviously from PBS Kids as well. So I got a couple of different versions of those um, just to, like I said, like I can just pull it all out and entertain them with it. So that all came from Dollar Tree so far. This is paint supplies. So we used to have like finger paint and all that kind of stuff and they've all like dried out or have run out or whatever. So I did go through our craft drawer um, to kind of weed out whatever we can and cannot use. So I had to get some new things. So I got some new paint brushes that are just like varying styles and um, sizes, things like that. And then this is like our paint palette. So you can put your thumb through here and open it up. It's really like, it needs to be cleaned, but I just threw it in here for now. I'll deal with that as it comes. This is like modeling clay. This is more for like the older kids, like Henry and um, the eight-year-old. I figured I'd throw it in there. And then I just got some paints. This paper I have just had around, um, but, and this is, also, I just had this around as well. But everything else is from the Dollar Tree except for this because, like I said, we've had this as well. Sorry if I'm not doing so hot on filming this. Maybe I should pull out. Let me zoom out here. Okay, that might be better for us. So, 
Um, so that is what I have in this little bucket. It's kind of more so like the activity bucket area. And then I have a pack of water balloons um, that they could just play with one day when it's really hot and they just need to get outside. I really don't like water balloons because they just make a giant mess in your yard. But that's okay, we'll deal with it. I also put this in here because with all these activities, a lot of the time kids will um, wanna fight over one, like one thing you have. So I figured I'd put this in here to help us um, take turns. So I can just set this out and you know everybody can take turns with whatever it is that we're fighting over. Um, so I just put that on here just to kind of help with that. So down here is the like actual like coloring craft stuff. So I'm going to turn this around because I found a bunch of coloring books that we hadn't used yesterday in one of my closets. So I put them kind of along the back side here. So there's more paper, just plain um, notebook paper, and then just whatever coloring books are in here. So um, those were ones that I probably couldn't fit into this bucket here. So um, let me take the lid off and I can kind of show you what we've got going on here as far as this arts and crafts bucket goes. So this is something that Henry got in a, um, like an Easter basket one day or one year I should say, and we just never used it. So I just threw it in there. These, I got two of these. I thought these were kind of fun. So I actually got these at the Dollar Tree and it's a spiral art thing. So you put um, whichever one you're gonna use in there and then you use, you put your pencil or whatever inside the hole and then you just put it around and it just makes like a fun design. So there's a bunch of different shapes and things in here. So I grabbed two of those um, and everything I got from the Dollar Tree I wanna mention is I only paid $1.25. So now it's no longer the Dollar Tree, it's $1.25. So um, everything I got is only a dollar twenty-five. I know they have like a three dollar, five dollar, four dollar, you know, whatever section. I didn't do any of that. So this is all just the dollar twenty-five stuff. So there's that. And then um this is all just miscellaneous like crayons and markers, pens, whatever, that um have kind of just been floating around in our craft drawer. So it's just, I just threw everything in there instead of it just like floating around in this giant box because I figured that that will just not end well for me. So that's all just stuff that we've had left over. I can't like tell you where we got all of it because it's just like crayons and markers from like kits and things like that. So there's that. My mother-in-law actually gave me these little stickers. They're like the foam stickers forever ago. So I just threw it into this craft drawer or craft bucket, I should say. Um, it's more so for the older kids. The younger kids don't really care to like color so much anymore, but Henry is really into that. And then so is their oldest. So whenever she's here, Henry and her just like color and draw and they do all that kind of stuff. So this is really more put together for them, but you know, it's available for everybody. So whoever wants to do it can. And then I just have some, I have like a clipboard. So if they want to like color or draw and they're not wanting to sit at the table, like if they're wanting to be outside, there's a clipboard. And then I just have a bunch of other miscellaneous coloring books that we've had around. Um, I didn't buy any coloring books because we've been buying coloring books for years for Henry. And he's just really never been like super duper into them. So now that he started kindergarten, he's more into them now than he was before. So that is all that. Like I said, it's just like, it's not anything like super crazy. It's really just your basic coloring things. And then down here is some more coloring books that I came across that we've just had around. So I have those kind of just hanging off the back because they don't want to fit into a bucket. So that's that. I'm going to put the lid back on. Down here is Play-Doh stuff. So originally I was like, I'm going to get some really nice Play-Doh and um, like make them keep it nice and stuff like that. I decided not to go with that plan because the truth is, is it's very unlikely that that's actually going to happen. Um, they'll probably get dried up and you know, whatever. So I just bought them all from the Dollar Tree. These are like little miniature sized colors, but there's various colors in here. And so I thought that that was kind of cool. They're smaller, but like I said, they'll, 
there's a good chance that they'll all get mixed together or just whatever will happen. And um, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to like spend money on really good quality Play-Doh and then it get like dried up in like the first time they ever use them. <laughs> so I got a couple of those. Like I said, they were $1.25 each. So I got two packs of the smaller stuff. And then I also came across this one, which is like a bigger pack. Of, well, I say a bigger pack. It's just bigger containers of Play-Doh. So, um, so yeah, I just grabbed a couple of those. They were all $1.25 each. As far as this kind of stuff goes, these we've had around. Henry gets these kind of a lot for like stocking stuffers or um, just his grandparents get this kind of stuff for him a lot. So some of them were still good. So I kept them in there. Um, I'm not really sure where they came from. I think they come from like the dollar spot a lot at Target, you know, things like that. So, but these are all like scented, which whatever. This is all stuff that we actually got from a neighbor who was getting rid of like a huge bucket full of like Play-Doh toys. And so she asked if I wanted them and I said, absolutely. So I came across these for free. Um, I don't know. I think it came from like various packs of like Play-Doh play stuff. So I don't really know how to um, recommend these to you. Like I said, I just came across them for free luckily. So, um, it's just a bunch of random stuff. Like some of it's like for making food items. Some of it's for like making ice cream. There's like bakery item stuff in here. Like there's just all kinds of different things in here. Um, so I just kind of grabbed whatever. I also have like cookie cutters that I don't use. So we have like a bunch of these like Easter cookie cutters that I just threw in here. Um, just whatever, you know, this Henry used to play with this a lot. It's just like a, I think it's supposed to be some sort of old school peeler, but um, he used to use it on Play-Doh a lot. So I just left it in there. So just whatever, you don't even have to use, like I've given him, like I said, just like cookie cutters. These aren't, these came with the Play-Doh play. But like I said, just the cookie cutters or cookie stamps or whatever you want to call these. I just throw whatever in there. Um, a really good place to find stuff like that if you are like a thrifty type of person is going on to garage sales. I find like old school cookie cutters all the time and they are selling them for like dirt cheap. So just whatever you want to do. Um, Play-Doh actual like actual Play-Doh accessories can be kind of expensive. So that's why I'm recommending like finding them at <laughs> like garage sales or whatever. Um, but you know whatever you want to do. Um, there's a ton of options for Play-Doh. So that's that. There's also little things like this. This came from my neighbor with all the Play-Doh stuff. Um, and I ch checked them all and they're all still good. So that's that. I'm going to throw all these back in here. A lot of this stuff I did get, obviously, with the uh, intention to using what I have around for this kind of stuff. So whenever I was planning on going to the store, I was planning on making things work with what I have already. So a couple years back, I had a video. I don't know if I have it on there still or not, but I made a video talking about like how to entertain your kids at home. I'll have to look and see if I still have it on my channel or not, but I ended up getting like a lot of stuff off of Amazon or just whatever too. But I just got a bunch of stuff off of Amazon or whatever to have for Henry to entertain himself at home. And so a lot of that stuff I tried to incorporate into this if we still had, you know, those materials. So, you know, whatever you want to do. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Moving along. I've got these buckets. So I had talked about I wanted to make like a bug kit type of thing where the kids can like play with bugs and dig them up and you know all of that. I kind of went another direction with that. Um, I'll explain this in a second. But I found all these. This is an older one. Henry got this a couple years back for a birthday or something like that. But I found like this bug catching kit, which I thought was kind of cool. So there's like a container that you can put your bugs in, check them out, whatever. And then Wild Kratz by PBS. I love PBS Kids. I made Henry watch it a lot whenever he was growing up. So, and he still likes to watch it. Um, I saw this 
at the Dollar Tree, so I thought this was kind of cool. So it came with another bug scissor kit or whatever, and then a magnifying glass and some tweezers and a net. Um, and then there's tweezers and a net and then the bug kit and then another pair of the scissors and another net. So I figure that's enough for the kids to kind of share and everybody can have, you know, a net or whatever. And then this is stuff that I actually bought. I, at one point I was making soaps, like hand soaps, like bars of hand soaps or whatever. And I bought a bunch of dried flowers. So they've just been sitting in my closet forever. And so I wanted to put those to use. So I have all these kind of in this bag. What's this? This is chamomile violet flowers and roses and then this one is lavender and then back here I have marigolds and I don't even know how to say that but they're really cool so I have those in there I figured I don't know whatever the kids want to do if they want to catch bugs and then like make this whole bucket like something for like a bug habitat for them to look at I don't know whatever he, they want to do is fine with me I figured I would leave it up to them, but I have these flowers. We can, I'm sure we'll find some way to use them this summer, but I have them in here. I had them in here somehow. Um, so yeah, that's that. Just set that aside for now. This is the only sensory bucket. I mentioned making sensory buckets. This is the only one that actually came to fruition and it is kind of a mix of things. So I bought some scoops for the kids to kind of scoop things up and put it into containers or whatever. Okay, I had to switch to my iPad. So hopefully we can make this work well. Um, it's a lot bigger and it won't let me zoom out any farther than this. So I'm sitting in the exact same spot I was with my phone. <laughs> but it's a lot more zoomed in than before. So I'm going to do my best. Sorry if I, it's more shaky. So sorry. Okay, so um, maybe if I pull it out a little bit. I got some pipe cleaners and just like cut them all up into chunks so that, um, and then I bought these magnets. So basically my idea is I have some magnetic wands that I was wanting to have the kids use. I haven't put them in here yet because they're actually up in my kid's closet where Briar is sleeping. She's not sleeping in the closet, but she's in her room. So I, I forgot to grab them out before starting this video. So I do apologize for that. But there is magnetic wands that I bought a while back to use for stuff like this. So I bought like these giant magnets and then the pipe cleaners obviously are also magnetic. But there's also like jewels in here and like pearls and there's beans and rice and just whatever. So I kind of just threw like a bunch of stuff in here and figured they'll enjoy kind of doing what they want with that stuff. Um, so that was kind of my mind, my like mindset there. I do plan on getting like some more like rice and beans and stuff like that to put in there. So it's not all just like sitting on top, but I may do with what I had at the moment. So that's that. Um, so the only thing, like I said, is missing out of this is the magnetic wand and then some more beans and rice. But otherwise, I think the kids will enjoy this. I will pull this bean bucket out already with just the two that I have at home with me regularly. And they will just go to town. They love to play with this kind of stuff. Um, and it's usually just beans in there with like scoops and things like this that they can, oops, sorry, things that they can fill. And they just like that kind of stuff. They like to act like they're cooking and just whatever. So that's the only sensory bin that I actually made for the summer. Um, and then I will kind of like add things or take things out as I feel like they need me to, um, you know, that kind of a thing. But I thought that that was kind of fun. I think they will enjoy that just to kind of explore and just whatever. So that's the last of these little bucket things that I've made. Um, the last few things that I made like put together are outdoor back baskets so right now the chalk one doesn't look very full because all the chalk is actually outside in like a Tupperware container that I just have left outside because they've been using them pretty regularly so um I'll start with this one first in here I have like an actual like chalk board so it's kind of messy right now, but I figure 
they can play with that inside if they want to. I don't, I don't know. I'm not super crazy about that idea, but it's there. Um, they can do what they want with it, basically. So there is a chalk, I don't know, like a container of chalk. I think that did orig originally come from the Dollar Tree, but I think it was from like years past. So I just kind of threw it in there because it was floating around in the closet anyway. Um, other things that we have are like this, I think this, it's the, one of the chalk pieces broke as you can see, but it um, holds different pieces of chalk and then they can use it and draw with it this way. And then I think that actually came with these stencils. Now these are from years past. So everything in this chalk container except for these brushes are from like years past that I already had because I was having a hard time finding like chalk related things at Dollar Tree right now. Um, as the summer season really starts to come up on us, I'm sure they will start having more. But as of right now, I couldn't really find a whole lot. So luckily I had most of this already here, but um, that that's that. So their stencils came with something in here other than the paint brushes. I think it was probably this. Um, and then there was also these from a year past. So you just kind of pull this down and you can load a piece of chalk into it. And then um, you can use it so that your hand's not getting all chalky like mine is right now. Um, and then that's basically it. I bought the paintbrushes because I have a family member who has paintbrushes like this in their chalk container that they, like the kids will use, like Henry will use it to like, brush out whatever he's drawn so it looks more like full and he just really enjoys doing that so I figured getting some of these like this they might enjoy that I don't know we'll have to see I've also seen on Pinterest how people will make like puff paint chalk so I thought about doing that for them this year <clears throat> but as of right now that's what I have going the bubble container okay so oh I wanted to mention too everything like I said, I think came from Dollar Tree in this container. The only thing is the chalkboard. My mother-in-law gave us that chalkboard, so I don't really know where she got it. Um, but everything else is from Dollar Tree, the basket included. So that's that. Moving along. So Henry received this um, bubble. It's actually a bubble refill. Um, so it's like a concentrate from what I understand. So you like mix it with water and it makes bubbles. I haven't used it, I don't think. So I don't really know how that goes. My mom got it for Henry like a couple years back. <clears throat> and so I haven't ever used it, but that's the idea from what I understand. So otherwise everything in here came from Dollar Tree I don't know about these but you can get these like legitimately everywhere the dollar spot has them at Target a lot um it's just bubble wands I'm really sorry about <laughs> the camera stylings right now it's really hard to use this iPad at this moment so I bought two of these bubble frisbees I thought these were cool it actually comes with a plastic tray that I'm I, I think from what I understand you can put the bubbles in the plastic tray and then you can just like set the frisbee in the plastic tray and then you know use it so I bought two of those because I figure you know we'll need two and then there is this which we got in a years years past but it's like I don't know if there's like a bubble man everywhere but there's this bubble man in our area where it's like a truck and they will have like a bucket that they will have this type of contraption in of, of like bubbles and then they'll pull it out and it makes giant bubbles. So he received that as a gift in the years past, um, but we've never used it. So I threw it into this container here. Sorry, like I said, camera stylings is not great right now because yeah, so here we go. This is what it looks like. Really cool idea. So we'll have to try that out this summer. Um, we have this from years past as well. It needs batteries, but I'm pretty sure it's like an automatic bubble blower. So you pull the trigger and the fan will start and then you just have like bubbles obviously on the little bubble holder, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, and it'll blow bubbles for you. It looks like it comes with a, it says 
bubble tray too. So I don't see a bubble tray. Oh, oh, there it is. So yeah, it is in there. This is, this is the bubble tray. So there's that. This is like a bubble rocket. Um, I figured the boys would really like this. So you put bubbles on it in the tray and then you push the pump and it shoots it up into the air and blows bubbles as it goes. I don't know. The idea is kind of cool. So I, I got it. And then I have this, your basic little bubble tray and um, blower thingy. And then a bubble gun. So those all came from Dollar Tree. Everything except for the bubble refill. And then those bubble wands, like I said, can literally get them anywhere um and so the kids have that's what the, the thing has been so far this year is bubbles so briar's really into bubbles um the other kids are really into bubbles henry's into them because i think everybody else is and so i got a lot of stuff for that because i feel like it's going to be a hit this year so we'll see but I'm feeling really confident about all of this. I will kind of show you how all this plays out as the summer season goes because I will be obviously vlogging all summer long. I'm not really sure like exactly what the style of those videos will look like. Um, but I will, that's what my summer's going to pretty much consume, like be consumed by is like making sure these kids are getting out and having fun. So if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, um, stick around with me. I do apologize, like I said, for the way that this video is <laughs> looking because it looks like such a mess. I'm using my iPad now. Okay, so I'm outside again. It's a little bit later, but I wanted to jump back on um, and kind of sign off, but have some finishing thoughts here. So first I wanted to mention that I do also have a lot of board games and just like actual sit down structured games for the older kids to do because the younger kids so the ones that are from age five down so including my daughter um they all will still lay down watch a movie take a nap after lunch so i do have a lot of board games that i do plan on pulling out for them as well so i wanted to mention that as well and then i also kind of wanted to mention um I have these all kind of, I cleared out a closet. So we have a coat closet right beside our front door. Um, and I kind of cleared out that top shelf and put all of the board, the board games in the corner of that shelf. And then the cubbies that won't, I say cubbies, like the baskets and boxes that won't fit on that rolling cart, I put on that shelf. So there's that. Also, the way that I've organized the things on the rolling cart is by um, if we're going to be taking them outside or if we're going to be using them at the kitchen table and that sort of an idea. So the things that are in the coat closet are all things that are kind of more aimed for outdoor play. And then the things all on the rolling cart is kind of more aimed for sitting down at a table. So I have, I'm outside right now. Um, and so I have an outdoor table. You can't really see it all that well, but there's an outdoor table here. So, um, that's like right outside of my kitchen. So right through that door, that's my kitchen. So the rolling cart I actually have in our walk-in pantry. So it's just like sitting kind of to the side out of the way. So whenever the kids want to do something like play with Play-Doh or paint or draw or whatever, um, we can either pull whatever out and sit at the kitchen table or we can pull it out and come outside and sit at this table. So I kind of have it all organized as it will be needed, um, even in as far as like where it's put away in my home. So if you're able to do something like that, I highly recommend it. I think it should be most efficient. I'm trying to just do everything as efficient as possible to create less chaos for myself. That's the idea. Chaos always finds a way in though, you know what I mean? So also, um, I also, like I had mentioned earlier, I do have a lot more ideas, but I was wanting to wait on those so that I don't, for one, overwhelm myself with all these different craft ideas, but then also I wanted to wait so that the kids can kind of get used to and kind of get a little bit worn out on these things that I've already planned. That way, um... That way, whenever, you know, they're kind of bored of the things that I already have and we've kind of made use of the paint and made use of the colored pencils and made use of the Play-Doh and, you know, made use of all of those different things, 
we can get some new ideas going. So I have lots of more ideas. So if you're interested in seeing those and want like another video kind of like this, let me know because I can totally do that. Um, as I also had mentioned, I do plan on filming a lot during this summer of like what our daily life is like. And if you're interested in seeing what a full-time babysitter looks like, as well as being inside your home, let me know. Um, like I said, that's going to pretty much be what my summer is like. Pray for me <laughs> because I'm a little bit worried. My, the, my friends whose kids I watch, they're like, are you excited for the summer? How are you feeling? Are you going to be... <laughs> Are you, you think you're going to be able to handle it? And I'm like, we're going to be fine. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, am I going to be okay? <laughs> the kids will be fine. They will find a way to have fun. But am I going to be overwhelmed? People do this kind of stuff all the time. So I'm really not that worried. Especially now that I've prepared a little bit. It kind of eases my, eases my fear. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're interested in seeing other videos like this, please let me know. Um, leave me a comment if you have any other kind of questions or if you want to see any kind of other related videos Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys and your ideas and thoughts um, Until then guys, I will see you next time. Bye